Good day, students. You are welcome to biology class. Hi, I'm Awoleye Oluwatoin, your biology teacher for today. The topic for today's lesson is food shortage. Food shortage. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to 1. Recognize causes of food shortage. 2. State effects of food shortage on population size. 3. Discuss possible solutions to food shortage. Content. Introduction. Causes of food shortage. Effects of food shortage on population size. Possible solutions to food shortage and evaluation. Question. What is food? And why do you eat food? Considering all the responses you might have, we all know that food is vital to someone's health and health is wealth. Food is an indispensable need for human being, as well as all living things. It can be in form of solid or liquid, and it is the breeding block of human health. In all habitats, producers provide the food that supports all consumers, either directly or indirectly. In a well-established habitat, population sizes of the various species are adjusted to the quantity of food that is available in the habitat. Certain factors can, however, decrease the food supply to the habitat, causing food shortage. No other problems. Facing mankind today is so crucial as the food and population problems. Unless the problems of food supplies and population growth can be solved, all other efforts to build a better world will be an illusion. What is food shortage? Food shortage is when food supplies within a bounded region do not provide the energy and nutrients needed by that region's population. Causes of food shortage. Food shortage may happen as a result of droughts or inadequate rainfall, flood, pest, diseases, overpopulation, deforestation, pollution, bush burning, infertility of the soil, poor harvesting techniques and processes, and poor storage facility, war or communal clashes, bad roads and poor transportation of agricultural produce. Inconsistency of government agricultural policies in many underdeveloped countries. And lastly, prolonged lockdown. Now let us discuss these causes. Droughts or inadequate rainfall. Drought causes water scarcity, and without water, most plants die. Severe droughts can lead to poor agricultural activities, resulting in the production of little food which eventually leads to food shortage. Flood. Occurrence of flood, that is, overflow of water in a particular year may result in the destruction of crops and farmlands, which can also lead to food shortage. Look at the diagram and take note of the flood. We will go on break now and we'll be back shortly.
Welcome back. Still on causes of food shortage. Pests. Pests like locusts, aphids, rodents, grasshoppers attack crops, causing low yield, which can result in food shortage. Take note of the different diagrams of the pests. Diseases. Various diseases of plants, such as mosaic and blight, can reduce food production, hence causes food shortage. Overpopulation. An increase in population without a corresponding increase in food supply tends to create food shortage. Deforestation. Deforestation of tropical forest due to human pressure has changed and led to desertification, which does not support crops production. Hence, this leads to food shortage. Pollution. Activities from combustion of fossil fuels, power plants, motor transport, mining of coal and oil, emits greenhouse gases which affect climate and agricultural production, hence causes food shortage. Bush burning. Bush burning also leads to destruction of useful soil organisms, reduces soil fertility, and exposes the soil to erosion. These conditions can lead to poor yield and subsequent food shortage. Infertility of the soil. Soil infertility due to erosion and bush burning leads to poor yield of crops which can also cause food shortage. Poor harvesting techniques. Poor harvest and poor storage facilities do result in food wastage or losses leading to food shortage. War or communal clash. During war time, attention is not given to food production and this leads to food shortage. Farmers and asthma clash has caused a lot of wastages of farm produce. Bad roads and poor transportation. This can cause food wastages, which also leads to food shortage. Prolonged lockdown. When lockdown is prolonged, this prevents farmers from going to farm. Hence, food shortage takes place. What are the effects of food shortage on population size? Effects of food shortage on population size include 1. Competition During food shortage, members of a population will compete with one another, scrambling for the limited food supply. Only the most vigorous individuals that is, survival of the fittest succeed in getting food. The rest starve. The individuals may engage in fighting, biting, and cannibalism. 2. Emigration. If food shortage lasts for a long time, animals, even human beings, may migrate from an area of food shortage to places where sufficient food is available. 3. Decline in rate of reproduction. Food shortage lowers the rate of reproduction and delays sexual maturity. For example, human beings tend to avoid marriage when they are not sure of how to feed themselves. Again, many engage in family planning so as to raise the number of children they can easily take care of. 
We will go on break now and we'll be back shortly. Welcome back. Still on effect of food shortage on population size. Now we move to malnutrition and mortality. Questions. What are the health conditions of these children in the diagram? Response. They are malnourished. Food shortage causes malnutrition, diseases, and also increases death rates especially among the young and the old, that is, the vulnerable age groups. Five, increase in price of food. Food scarcity or shortage can lead to increase in price of food. The impacts of food shortage are also seen on learners or school-going children as it reduces class concentration among school-going children. What are the possible solutions to problems of food shortage? One, there is need to reduce pollution and production of carbon emissions so as to reduce its impact on climatic change which affects agricultural production. Two, there is need to invest in clean energy such as solar, geothermal power in homes and industries because they do not have adverse effects on environment. Three, governments need to work in consultation with climatic bodies, World Bank, so as to engage in projects aimed at promoting green environment. Four, cultivation of crops of good varieties and disease resistant varieties. Five, environmental factors due to human activities such as overgrazing, deforestation, pollution, can be controlled through legislation. Six, tree planting, that is, afforestation, should be encouraged. Seven, farmers should be encouraged, enlightened, and offered credit facilities to buy machines and to engage in mechanized farming. Hate, weeds, pests, and diseases should be controlled. Nine, there is need for improved food storage facilities and good harvesting processing techniques to allow food last longer and prevent food waste. Ten, you should also be encouraged to engage in farming or agricultural practices. And lastly, there should be construction and maintenance of good roads to prevent food wastage. Evaluation. One, highlight causes of food shortage. Two, what are the effects of food shortage on the size of a population? Three, what do you think can be done to prevent food shortage in your locality? Assignment, suggest more possible solutions to food shortage. Summary, in today's lesson, we learned the meaning of food shortage, its causes, effects, and possible solutions to food shortage. References for further studies www.paperveeds.com, www.pastnanow.com, 
Modern Biology for Senior Secondary Schools by Ramali Gam, ST 2013, 6th edition, page 369 to 370. Now we come to the end of this lesson. Thanks for listening. Bye.